Fear God and stop stealing my song, says Funke Glorious as she drags another gospel singer, Adeyinka Alashi Yori. Hello everyone, you're welcome. Everybody knows um, Adeyinka Alashi Yori and if you're used to the gospel genre um, of music also in Nigeria, you may have come across um, Funke Glorious as well. Um, but Adeyin Kala Shiori is the most popular one at the moment because, you know, she, of course she has been doing her thing for a long time, but it got to a particular time where she blew up, you know, as in she just came into limelight and everything, though in a very unstable manner for another um, veteran musician, Tokoy Alabi. It was at that time that Tokoy Alabi got on the stage and said something a bit condescending about um, Alashiori's songs, which got a lot of people upset to say, why the pride? Why is she, in quotes, jealous of um, Adeyin Kalashiori um, now making name in the gospel area and everything, everything. But uh, later, Tokwe Alabi apologized and everybody moved on. Now, back to what we are talking about. We just saw a video where you can check as well. You're going to see the full video. It's quite lengthy of Funke Glorious calling out um, Ade Inkala Shiori that she kept stealing her songs and she's tired. That constantly she she has done it with um, one song that she did before and um, Ojelo with that one. But this one, she's not going to let uh, Ade Inka Jello with this one that, you know, it's called plagiarism. Because when you take somebody else's intellectual property and you just maybe like you remove one or two things and you make it yours without her giving, you know, credit to her and all of that. So those kind of things are very, very, very sensitive when it comes to intellectual property. If you're into music, um, movies and even blogging as well, when you want to use a property that is not yours, the video is not originally yours or something, or even pictures, you know, you have to, you know, good practice, good ethics, um, give credit to the person and it's, it gets more advanced as you go, especially when it comes to music. So, Funke Glorious called out Ade Inka and she was very, very bitter. She did not spare Inka at all, you know, telling her that, Madam, don't think I want to drag you. It is just you that you need to do the right thing and everything. You have to do the needful. All the elderly ones in the, in the music industry will not talk. They will just be quiet instead of them to say the truth. But they need the truth, but they don't want to say it. So she just went on and on and on and on and on. Of course, because right now, Ade Inka Lashiori is the most popular one. And she's well loved, I must say, because that lady is quite humble. Um, I quite like the way she undoed her saga with um, Tokwe Alabi at that time. You know, she was humble in the midst of everything, um, not exchanging words or not giving an attitude, at least as far as we could see on social media. She was just doing her thing. Um, that just made me have a you know, kind of respect for her and all of that. But hearing this now, could this actually be true? And buttressing some points made by um, Glorious, Funke Glorious, she said hmm, that um, they've called them on a conference call before, but Inka was not apologetic. That Inka was giving an attitude. She wasn't so bad. Just like somebody's telling you that, why did you use my property? And she wasn't so bad. She wasn't, you know, showing that kind of, oh, I'm sorry, or okay, um, you know, let's let's talk about it and everything. And that is what is actually pissing Funke off. To say, how could you use my intellectual property? And you'll be giving me an attitude. For what? Because, in quote, you are a star. <laughs> The same old thing, you know what? Why don't you use another thing? And to my mother, she already in car, and kill off you. Oh, the shell already on the drum, you call Jalo. Ben, oh, shell already on the drum, you call Jalo. You didn't give credit to that pot, to that mommy. You did not. Oh, Jalo, and you are fond of that. To my shame, continue with that bear, yeah? You will not talk on it. You will keep quiet. You will wear it. You know what she want, yeah? 
So my people, oh yeah, yeah, see, um, Funke Glorious Jukale. Now let's take some comments on this. Somebody said, "You can call her out, but as a gospel artist, you claim to be. Don't use vulgar words. That doesn't sound right, though." Another said, "You are you are now shouting like Omo Omo Ita. She be na gospel song you they sing. Na Fuji you they sing is now looking like beefing." Somebody said, "Are these really gospel musicians?" Another said, this is so absurd. So you release the song and you want to be the only one to sing it? Other artists would jump on songs normally. The song that made Laolu and his Igbo guy popular during COVID, uh, Shea Goni, that song was composed by a choir years ago. I actually sang that song on my wedding 12 years ago, but when they sang it during COVID, a lot of people thought it was originally theirs. My brother, Gwenga Oke, sang Iye Iye, that most churches use as praise song today, but very few people know him. Auntie, you are so carnal and ashamed to Christendom. Look at how you are shouting like a thought. You want to tell me it's the Holy Spirit that is your inspiration? Talk to God, okay? It's not our fault that God favored her before you. Everyone has their time. Talk to God, okay? And stop right, ranting like a loser. Hmm. Another said, now why you know blue? If everyone could sue a fellow for singing their songs, it would be buzz goes. The glory will not be useful for you. Then they help you use them, you they shout. Each time this woman is being called out, her glory is always going up. Look at this Aguero calling herself evangelist. Get out her beg. Another person said, I sincerely don't know how everyone is blaming this woman and people are saying she's a Christian, blah, blah, blah. Christians are not humans or don't they have feelings too? Or Christians are so perfect? No, now, and I understand that vent and anger. How can you work hard for something and somebody else is taking the glory? If not you, you know go one craze too. Let's be putting ourselves in people's shoes too. And do you think this woman wouldn't have reached out to her in private? I'm sure she would have. Let's be sincere. Christians are human beings with feelings and emotions too. You know easy to work on it too. Another person said, why are we sentimental in Nigeria? This woman is saying the right thing. Here in the Western world, you can't do that, whether it is secular or gospel. A composer sat down and did composition. Then you think the next thing is to leave the song because you are popular? If I do a song, got the copyright, I have boldness to use it without my permission and you didn't acknowledge me as I'm a gospel singer, we are going to meet in court straight. We should stop eating other people's sweats. Hmm. Another person said, Madam, have you used the same energy to preach and spread the good news? Come on, this is wrong. You didn't approach this right at all. You are a gospel singer and yet see the words coming out of your mouth. This is one of the reasons the Bible said, Be angry, but do not sin. Another said, I can't believe this. A gospel singer, which industry? Join worldly music, Joe, so we know where you belong. Another said, We all expect too much from these people without reminding ourselves that before the said career, they are human. She's expressing herself. Let us stop being sentimental about our choice of words. In between it can can be so painful seeing someone turn your original idea to a big deal right in front of your eyes. Okay, um, should we take one more? Another person said, Everyone must be very sad about this. Holy Spirit checked out of this chat as soon as she opened her mouth. The message was justified, but the presentation was inappropriately delivered. As a gospel musician, you should represent God in all your ways, even in anger. Please seek God again for mercy. Mm. Another person said, the level of hypocrisy I'm seeing under this, anyway, I'm not surprised. Inka is popular now. She is not at fault. Until some things happen to us, we have no idea how it feels. Until one day someone is stealing your sweat in daylight, you won't know how it feels. 
Okay, so let me just stop there with the few comments that people made about it. Now, my own two cents is this. If truly um, Inka stole a part of a song, I think without being sentimental, Inka should do the right thing. Though truth will always be truth, uh, no matter how much you want to turn it to another color, right? So I think that, you know, Inka should do the right thing. Like the old woman said, please make sure you listen to our, you can check our YouTube page, the, the full video is there. I think Inka should um, try and relate to her because she said, she claimed that they had a conference call, but Inka was not yielding, you know, she wasn't sober about it. And I think that, you know, Tabasa Uto, Abusilo Anibe. We can't say because in Inka is the one raining now. The truth of the matter is nobody rains forever. You will do your own, you will sit down. Another person will come. There was a time it was only like only top where Labi we had, you know. And these people are now coming up. And after they come up, another set are already on, on queue to come up as well. So it is just very good, and especially because of the faith they carry. So so whoever are uh, the PR members or the advisors over the Inca or the elders in that industry, maybe them Tokwa Labi or our Mama Bola Re, you know, all those wonderful women, they should call them and try to resolve this because you cannot beat a child and tell the child not to cry. Clearly, Funke Glorious is very, very upset. Of course, I do not think that she should have used some words. But it was a live video and, you know, she lost a cool. <laughs> Pastor, no, at about all gospel singers. Although, I mean, you're not like, oh, no, when they are angry, they are angry. But, you know, wisdom just says that when you know you're very upset, be very careful of the words that come out of your mouth. Because people will pick those words instead of looking at what is actually causing you the pain of why you are out there talking and expressing yourself. So, so that, you know, the right thing will be done. So, Madame Inka and Madame Funke Glorious, please, you're all gospel singers that are, God has done well for, you know. Um, you should be good examples. And to Bajioni, Koko, Bapology, Apikoche, Noma. Everybody move on. Ah, let's talk about it. Tomo, 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 Funi Credits, Fun. Tomo, Tomo, Royalty, Fun, Kuma, Soro. It's wrong. Nobody will want to accept that. So, I think the needful should be done. So what's your opinion on this? Kindly drop your comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.